This camera can be thrown through a window, tossed downstairs, thrown into a collapsed structure to give first responders an instant 360 degree view of what's going on in a dangerous environment so they don't have to go in there themselves. It provides continuous 360 degree views of what it's seeing, stabilized so even if it bumps around or moves around it keeps a nice steady view. We work extensively with law enforcement, with search and rescue, and increasingly with defense and industrial safety applications. It's easy to use. It's just an app on your phone and a ball you toss through a window. Many people can be looking in many directions at the same time, making sure that there's not something dangerous before you go into a space. Not only do the local users within range of the camera get to see what's on the video, we can actually stream this and somebody a thousand miles away can be seeing the same video as the first responders on scene. And that really helps commanders, senior leadership make better decisions and better support bounce imaging. It's not perhaps the most creative name because it bounces and it images. <laughs> That's where the name of bounce imaging came from. We spent about three years out of the Harvard Innovation Lab and MIT developing the core technology and then another two years in the field with the most elite users validating that it worked and iterating with them to get to something that really met their needs. Lume obviously is based in Rochester and it's cool to be surrounded by companies that are working on the cutting edge of optics and imaging and we often are working for similar customers and on similar problems and so we can share insights about those topics. Our next phase is really expanding. We get to work with cutting edge technology with a great team of engineers. We're trying to keep people safer by letting professionals know what's on the other side of a door so they can make better decisions to keep themselves safer and civilians on the other side as well.